What's up YouTube? How's it going? I'm back again for another random video. Here's just a quick boot review. I've done these a couple times on my channel. So why not show off my brand new boots from work? So I got these from Mark's Work Warehouse here in Canada. I had to order these bad boys because I'm size 13. So we got some Dakota Work Pro Series. So we got the 6550 CTSP 6 inch work boot and the 6557 STCP 6 inch safety work boot. Whatever that means. Both black. So without further ado, Scooby Doo, let's uh, check them out. See what I think. I got the Timberlands, so I don't really care. How about these ones? These are just backups. Oh, nice. These are uh, Trangula grip. Trangula. Instead of Dracula, it's Trangula. Nice material. They've really improved on their boots over the last couple of years. These are $240 plus tax. Mamma mia. So it features super tiny writing. Here we go. Leather upper, dry tack lining with fresh tack, 200 gram T Max insulation, removable PU footbed, EVA mid sail, sorry, sole, Trangula anti slip rubber out sole, and CSA grade one, um, a symmetrical composite toe and steel plate. All right. Anti-slip, dry and wet, if that means anything to you guys. Specialized Trangula compound provided the ultimate in slip protection by recycling the likelihood, by reducing the likelihood of slips or falls on wet or uneven surfaces. Trangula anti-slip footwear is designed and tested for wet and dry conditions. They have not been designed and tested for use in any type of ice. <clears throat> There you have it, folks. So there's your grades. And the Francaise. The Francis want to have an opinion. I like the boot laces. Nice and thick. Not like Dakotas in the past. They've been really cheap. Let's have a look at this insole. Quad Comfort. Very nice. So when the insole goes to crap, Get a new one. Now there's really no point in me trying on these boots. Because I, one, I know they fit. And two, it's not going to really matter what I think comfort-wise. It's going to matter what you think comfort-wise. A lot of people want in a work boot is comfort and durability. Well, holy crap. Only time will tell. That was almost a fail. But for the record... I'll slip it on anyway. Just the one. What do I think of it? It's got a nice arch. <clears throat> it's my uh, foot nice here. Don't mind the pajamas. Neat little design on the side. All right, you know. I mean, they feel like a work boot. They don't feel flat. They feel like a banana. So I don't know if that's going to be good for your arch or whatnot. You know, it's got nice grip. But uh, yeah, it's got the side. <coughs> and you button them up. Keeps it nice and tight in the winter time. Not sure how these are in the winter. I just got them. So a lot of questions I cannot answer for you. But they're fairly light. They're nice boot. And I'm happy with them. So without further ado, Scooby-Doo, let's go on to my favorite ones. I'm going to wait for these guys. Low, oh man, so much better to have a low heel than a high one. I got the high version of these, so it's nice that they made these shorter. They probably had these for a while, but... 
You can see they crapped out on the laces. Uh, they changed the boot material quite a bit from the other one. I've had these boots about four times. They're awesome. Um, I recommend these for sure. I do garbage and recycling. And I beat the crap out of my footwear. Lots of stepping off the truck, lots of turning, twisting. These boots can take abuse for about a year and a half. I was surprised because most boots, you believe, believe it or not, within six months doing my job, they're, you're wearing them out. It's kind of sad. HD3, that's why I switched to the Timberlands. 320 bucks Canadian, I got them on sale for 250. You can't complain. And if you guys think I'm talking smack, Prove it. Look at these puppies. Brand new, not even used yet. Thanks, work. So, what do we got here? Waterproof full grain leather upper, which is nice. 200 gram T Max insulation and fresh tech uh, treated lining. HD3 waterproof, uh, breathable membrane. They're great in the winter too. Just the laces suck on them, so definitely uh, get new laces because they break quick. Um, poured PU midsole. They're very comfy too when walking, just so you know. Um, Vibram um, fire and ice rubber outsole. CSA grade one, steel toe and composite plate. Quad comfort, a better way to walk. And the rest is the Francais. So this insole is not as nice as the other boot. But, I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty floppy. It's not, it's not hard. And that's what you want, right, ladies? You want it hard. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's nice. I like it. Breathable anti-odor. Oh, they put little breather holes in here. Like your feet won't stink after, I don't know, a month of wearing these, because I'm sure they will. Your feet will sweat in the summertime if you get the high tops, so I definitely recommend the lower ones. Um, I'm not going to go outside and get my high top ones, because they're in the front room, but, I mean, these are nice. You know what, while we're on the video, why don't I show you real quick. was I took the high top version of these and I put uh, work gave me nice uh, ice grips because boots suck in the winter you don't want to fall but it makes the boot very heavy and like the boot's still brand new it's completely protected it's nice I switched up the laces with Dakotas as you can see compared to these thin crappy ones like I said I've had these boots it's like my fourth pair that's like my fifth I love them but it makes it very heavy. Um, come the summertime, you know, you don't want to wear high top. You want ankles. But you got to support your ankle on top of that. You know, it depends on what you're doing. A lot of companies, you know, or maybe even yourself, you want something a little bit higher up. But, you know, you get decent ankle support, I guess, on these. I don't know. I've never really worn boots like this before. It's always been, you know, up high. The freaking 8 inch. <clears throat> Well, there you have it, folks. If you have any questions or concerns or comments on this boot, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, it looks like they did fix it up a little bit over the years. So hopefully this one, this material is a little bit better. So they just updated this boot because the one I have is a couple years old. And uh, I had to see it in person. I didn't believe it. And I was going to, I was like, why did the price go up? They changed the material. Material <laughs> size 13 King Kong baby there you have it YouTube thanks so much for watching thanks for looking at my amazing boot collection that was a nice little thumbnail make sure you check out my last boot unboxing video if you have any questions or comments leave them down below I'll talk to you guys real soon bye for now